So, I mean, thank you very much for talking to us. I mean, nine of your affiliate unions throwing down the gauntlet. Well, I, I don't know what's throwing down the gauntlet. We, we had a media briefing today uh, by uh, nine of Costa to uh, unions. And uh, it, it, it's, it has never happened uh, before. We, we don't want to rush and respond uh, because our response must be thorough for, for, for everybody to be clear. But all I can say is COSATU unions should come to COSATU House, should be able to express themselves at COSATU House in the structures of the Federation, uh, not through uh, the media. So you're not able to tell us today whether um, you will be able to meet their deadline or you're going to give them an ear even? I, I will say to you, we've given comrades a response to that particular question they raise. They know they have the response, but they uh, would have chosen to go to the media uh, about a matter they know they have a response on. We, we will still be repeating that report, the response because that response is within the Constitution and the structures of the Federation. They know that. What we are not going to do uh, is to now confuse the public, confuse the members even further. We'll have to go into the details and say what is it that we are dealing with so that everybody is clear what is it we are dealing with. Uh, not today, not tonight. So are you suggesting that they went and spoke to the media or, sought, or said they were seeking answers from you when in fact they did get answers? There is a COSATU process that these unions are part of. These unions express their views in. These unions uh, have not been muzzled, mulled. They have been able to express that they actually are participating in those processes. They are participating in those processes. There is only one union that has continued to, 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 to say, uh, yeah, we are not going to participate. But even that union, in the last meeting, it partook in the, in the processes that have been agreed to uh, by the Federation. And we will display a myth that the president of COSATU refuses to convene a special Congress. It's not true. They know it's not true. Comrades may be edgy to want to rush issues for whatever reasons they have, but it is not true that that process is not being pursued by the Federation. We are pursuing that process. But Vuyo, tomorrow, or any other day tomorrow, <laughs> there will be no issue that will be confusing members anymore. Let me ask about something that they raised, which uh, perhaps you may be able to answer, because it speaks to, um, uh, in part, a role that you've played. You've been part of the drawing up of the ANC's manifesto. And one of the issues that they are raising there is that um, COSATU has actually um, given unqualified and uncritical endorsement of the ANC election manifesto. Let me say to you, out of the nine unions uh, that were uh, sitting today there, only one union did not uh, participate in the elections manifesto processes because that union has taken a decision. It is not supporting the African National Congress. Therefore, it is not going to contribute in an ANC manifesto uh, 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 in support of a win, decisive victory of the ANC. All those unions that were sitting there so apart were part North of South the South process, unions, all of them. Lying to us. Well, I wouldn't say they are lying. I respect those leaders. But all those unions that were sitting uh, there were part of the manifesto process. Thank you very much. Thank you. That was